Hi guys, I know this is a bit of a different lighting slash, you know, just a different background, but I just wanted to do a little intro to my video. So basically I've done a try gel nails at home video um, and there's not much that I say except like a voice voiceover. So I thought I'll quickly do this chat thing and then you can just get straight into the video. Um, I, I do hope you like it. If you want to try, it's very easy to do um and it saves you a bit more money than paying 25 pounds normally which i pay every time i get an acrylic gel infill right now i've just done my gel nails literally just done my gel nails um no acrylic at all so it's very easy to do um and let me know if you've tried it at home maybe you have and maybe you like it and maybe you don't um, just let me know down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more vlogs, reviews, hauls, pranks hopefully soon and more. So yeah, love you guys. Bye! So here, as you can see, I'm taking off the gel colour off my acrylics because I've got acrylics on. So as you can see here, I need to cut my acrylics down because they have grown over three weeks now, so I need to make them shorter. So what I'm going to do next is soak um, my nails in gel remover so that I get all the gel colour off my nails, so then when I paint them, they're perfectly blank. So the first step is that I need to put a base gel, as you can see, um, onto my nail so that this protects my nails from any colour that's going to go on. Honestly speaking, I don't even know if I'm doing this step correctly because I normally see people put on primer, but here we go. At least I'm trying. After you've done your base coat, you apply the colour and the colour I'm using today is like a lilac-y purple. Um, it's in the Beetle set and it's the 607. So if you do have this set, then yeah, this is the colours how it's going to look like.
and to finish off you need a top coat um, which you apply to all your nails so it stops it from chipping um, and I think this is all the steps that you need to do um, if you are a nail technician or acrylic technician um, just let me know down below if I've done any of the steps incorrectly and if so what I can do to improve that um, just so that I can do my nails better because I think I want to be doing this more often now that we're in lockdown and I think it's quite a nice pampering thing to do so yeah anyone who knows um, how to do these properly just let me know in the comments below and I would really appreciate it.